after the Sweden England game I decided to take a short walk take you guys with me and I'm wearing the most English thing I have which is this Queen t-shirt that I got last year finally a Queen t-shirt Queen is definitely one of my all-time favorite bands and yeah it's fitting uh, England wins let's celebrate England and yeah a lot of my favorite bands are from England and Queen is probably, was probably my first real rock band that I loved and yeah it's windy out here but it's beautiful so giving you a little bit of the green that we have here at home the game yeah was a so-so game it reminded me a lot of France Uruguay in the sense that England didn't have to spend a lot of energy to get things done um, I was honestly disappointed of Sweden the last few games they all started out with um, lots of counter attacks this time they were very 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 holding back and I thought to myself what could be the reason for that and I actually think it's they're tired uh, their captain is kind of or Granqvist and many others are actually older than I thought and that surely could have played a big role in them not performing as one would expect them to perform um, so yeah they had a sh one shot in the first half that w went to nowhere England asserted itself onto the game slowly oh, no one coming um, and yeah got after a corner kick the one nothing again I start liking the way England is playing especially because they're doing things that I never thought I will see from an England team that they are trying to um, practice 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 prepare themselves do some s smart things it's kind of windy here I sorry for that uh, do smart things prepare uh, and not just play uh, because we're better and that's the one thing I've been missing from England for a long time they should have made it probably two before the half um, they had definitely chances right after halftime uh, Sweden could have equalized I think it was a great header by Berg, Berg. and then yeah uh, England still had control Sweden tried something but I think there was not too much happening to be honest uh, from the Swedish side and England got the second goal and was 2-0 uh, by Dele Alli I think the first one was by Maguire uh, who is a great story in, in itself and at 2-0 it felt a lot like a 2-0 when France scored yesterday England was not about to come back from there and so it happened um, Sweden had another great chance to make it 2-1 but that was basically the last ditch I mean they tried more but I think it was more England threatening than Sweden and so England deservedly moves on to the next round um, and I think they will be happy for it because uh, while against Colombia they had a very very tough game now against Sweden I think it was a performance where you really could see that they're not extending too much energy and that can pay huge dividends uh, later on in the tournament um, I think it might pay also for France and as if you've seen the calculations they are still favored to go to the final and there you need some of these games where you just kill off the game I still have my questions about the defense of England um, it's not that they're bad but I think they can be better uh, but it's a young team and that's what I also like this is a really a team where uh, you can say Southgate had a plan he was choosing youth players and it probably uh, was a good move after all that we had South that the English FA took Southgate I'm giving you the full panorama here that the English Federation took uh, Southgate uh, who actually worked with most of these players already so yeah England is doing a lot of things right the youth system is paying dividends and they're moving on maybe even ahead of schedule to the semi-final in the World Cup um, not much more I respect it I need an England shirt I mean the Queen shirt is nice but I definitely will need an England shirt sooner or later I'm not sure if I will get one by the semi-final 
we'll see. We'll see. Uh, also yeah, the last thing I want to talk is jersey matchup. It was as expected. Really, there was not much more that I uh, that, that you can say. I would have liked to see England with white shorts. I don't think we'll see that at this World Cup. Um, the Sweden's jersey is still. Um, I'm more thinking about what could have been than what is. Um, I really thought there were better England jerseys, uh, uh, better Sweden jerseys available uh, from earlier, or even you know if they used the Mexico template for Sweden, that would have been my favorite uh, for uh, Sweden. But not this one. That I don't know why they went for the '89 uh, jersey. I personally don't get it. But then you know, at that time I didn't follow Sweden. Maybe that was a team that people loved. It only completely disappointed at the World Cup. Well, those are my thoughts uh, on the game. Let me know what you think. I know I still have to send home Sweden. I will do this once I get home from a little walk. And uh, we'll probably see if I can remember a few more things. Up until then. Back from the walk. Let's do the honors. I am sad to see Sweden go but I'm not unhappy. Um, I think they went as far as they could go. Uh, and England was the better team today. And yeah, as I said in the preview to this match, England wins a quarterfinal, loses two, and it was their turn. And for that, I'm happy and I'm happy to see something go. I think Sweden got as far as they could go with that squad, honestly. And uh, for that, I usually like Sweden better. I was more neutral today. But let's do the honors. My one and only Sweden jersey, which was a jersey that was overdue. I think in 2002, I really wanted to get a Sweden away jersey in blue. I still don't have a Sweden away jersey. This one is from Euro 2008 in Austria. Um, I have to say it's not exactly my favorite cut. Um, I'm okay with the uh, piping, striping here. Even the color that's kind of two color, but what I don't like is that we have the umbro diamonds here in um, blue, and then yellow ones here that you don't can you cannot really see. Maybe if I go closer, you can make them out. So that's the one thing I don't like. Um, there's also an interesting thing that I have yet to decode. If you look at the sleeves, there is it looks like Morse code to me. And I really want to know if this is really a Morse code message or not um, and what it would read. I know someone who speaks Swedish. If I ever get the time, I would do it. Uh, it has, of course, a nice Sweden flag on the back um, and all these underarm details. Yeah, it is a jersey that I really like to wear, honestly. Um, I have some relationships with Sweden. My mother was born there. I have. Uh, I know people from Sweden and as much as I like Queen, uh, my currently favorite band is from Sweden, Opeth. Uh, you have the opening and the closing music from. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot to like for Sweden about me. Um, but again, I think it is fair to say that um, Sweden went as far as they could with this squad and with their abilities. And we got to um, honor that as well. Uh, they were not expected to go further than they did. Really not. And for that, here's to you, Sweden. Um, you're going to go in the closet for now. But this is one of those that I can imagine pulling out very soon again. Uh, the last thing I want to say is about the crest. You know that if I look at the crest, I usually don't like the soccer balls that are the Telstra 1970 style, the white with the black pentagons. This is a really old fashioned soccer ball and that I like. The red striping here is not present on the current version. And I think it looks better without the red. The red is a little bit uh, coming. Uh, yeah out of context. I really would like to get the blue Sweden away jersey from this year's World Cup. But I guess I gotta go for England now. Um, let's see. It's kind of still, uh, yeah, if it fits in the budget for this month. I also at this point want to thank my wife for really, really supporting me. 
making these videos, letting me watch these games. Uh, it's highly appreciated. And yeah, she's a lot behind me really making uh, this channel and this video. So thank you so much. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Sweden England game. What do you think? Where it will go for England? Um, if you have different observations than I did, I'm always happy to hear other opinions and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.